What is up guys, I am your daily dose of lithium and oh boy man do I have one hell of a story for you guys. Alright, so I'm just going to start this off by saying I hate liars. I absolutely hate people that compulsively lie. I mean, what's just the point of lying? Why would you lie? I mean, seriously, what is the point of compulsively lying over and over and over and over again? Eventually, you get so caught up in your own fucking lies that you don't even know what's a, what's a lie and what isn't a lie anymore. So, let's just start it out like that, alright? So, the internet's a weird place, alright? You can meet all kinds of weird people. And in streaming, especially, you can meet some really, really fucking weird people. And just a short time ago, when I was streaming, I met a really, really weird person. Alright, so they weren't weird at first. They were, they were completely normal. Let's just say she. We're not gonna name names here. We're gonna protect the innocent. She was normal, alright? She seemed really cool. She seemed really friendly and stuff. And she'd come and watch my streams all the time. Until eventually she said, hey, hey, Lithium. One of my friends actually came and watched my watched one of your streams, and you actually saved her life, man. I'm like, wow, man, that, that's awesome. I, I never thought that my stream would save a person's life. Well, apparently, this person's name was Talia, all right? This is a fake name that was already given, so her, this person's name was Talia. And apparently, I had saved this Talia's life, I don't, I, I, which was awesome. I, w I was ecstatic. So I got to know Talia a little bit more, or the so-called Talia, and apparently this Talia had two forms of cancer. She had both bone and breast cancer, and you know, who would lie about that? I mean seriously, who would lie about that? So I'm like, oh shit, well, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I invited her into the Disco uh, Discord that we have, which is just for people that, you know, just want to chill. Yeah, we invited her in there, and we treated her like family. Same with the girl that had, inter had introduced me to her. And, you know, everything was good. I was doing streams to raise awareness for cancer. I was doing streams to raise money for this person. And things were going really, really good. Until a short time ago, even a shorter time ago, Talia was able to speak. Now, I was raising money to get a pair of headphones to her so she could speak before her time came. But she spoke beforehand, as the hospital had headphones that they were going to give. Alright, so I'm like, okay, okay. Well, something seemed fishy. And, and I had heard this female's voice beforehand, the one that had introduced me to Ta Talia. And similarly, just weirdly, they sounded the same. So I did a little bit of, re I, did, I just did a little bit of audio editing. I put, I just put, I just recorded a bit, put the person's voice with Talia's voice, and they came out exactly the same. There were so many things that matched up, so in time I sent it to her and I said, "Hey, I'm making this really cool little kind of montage kind of thing, you know, in, in spirit, in, in, you know, to just in spirit of Talia, just to just to remember her by, so we can remember her voice." And I sent it to her. She watched it. Boom! Immediately she fucking fled, just left the Discord. We it took us forever to talk her back into there. Funny enough, we called her bluff. We called her bluff. And it, it ensued in just one of the worst fucking times of the past. It, it, it was it was bad. It, it, just the way I would describe it, it was fucking bad. Uh, in the end, basically, what was going on is we were raising money to make sure that a person that was in this human being's life, Tally was fake. This Talia person was a fucking fake. I don't know if it was inspired off of something or whatever, but it was fake. And... Apparently, we were raising money for this uh, this girl's Nana, who apparently did have cancer. And this just kind of raises the point, WHY WOULD YOU FUCKING LIE ABOUT THIS IN THE FIRST PLACE? We're giving kind people. We're, we're, we're the kind of people that would help you out. And just the fact that someone would come in and say, this person is dying in a few days, you need- we need to help them. Instead of saying, I'm- one of- instead of just saying one of my family members is dying, I need help. Why is that so difficult? But apparently it was. Apparently it was. Apparently lying was the only way out. So we called this person's bluff. We called them out on it. And they still did not... They, they still did not say, Oh, okay, you caught me. They still completely... They still can, went with the fucking lie. I don't know how a person could do that even when you're called out. But in the end, in the end, the lie was called out. We eventually were able to get the truth out of her. And in the end, I say the end, the end way too much, but we were able to finally get her out of there, 
and God knows what's going on with her life right now. So let this be a lesson. If someone is in need, don't lie about it because people would be willing to help. That's what people want to do. People naturally want to help. So don't lie. Don't be a compulsive liar. People don't like a compulsive liar. Anyways, this was a small little rant and a small story. I wanted to just share it with you because it's been kind of heavy on my mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. As you beautiful people know, I am Black Lithium, and I'll check you guys next time.